A police ballistician has testified at the Lagos State High Court sitting at the TBS Annex. He presented his report on the inspection of two firearms, one of which was suspected to have been used in the deadly shooting of a pregnant lawyer on December 25th, 2022, by ASP Drambi Vandi from the Ajiwe Police Station Aja, uh, the sole defendant in the murder trial. After examining several other vital pieces of evidence, the uh, Adiyeye Bamisokwe says it's not possible to link the bullet with the weapon due to some malfunctions on them. Tell me for Ladiyemo, ask more. Adeyeye Bamishokwe is the 10th witness for the Lagos State Government prosecuting the murder trial of Bolanle Rahim. She was seven months pregnant at the time she was allegedly shot in the chest by ASP Drambi Vandi while he and two others were on patrol at Aja Underbridge last Christmas. The defendant, who's now been suspended from the Nigeria Police Force, pleaded not guilty during his arraignment in January. On Thursday, the Attorney General, Muyosore Onigbanjo, SAN, presented the witness before Justice Ibirun K. Harrison, the police ballistician, says he examined the firearms and ammunition carried by the defendant and one inspector, Ebimine, on the day of the shooting. His findings revealed that the AK-47 weapons and that the magazine attached to each firearm are capable of taking 30 rounds of caliber 7.62 mm ammunition he added that the examination conducted in their barrels revealed a residue of burnt propellant, an indication that the firearms were recently fired and that their working mechanisms are in order, meaning they are lethal weapons. But he noted that he detected some display malfunctions on the selector of the firearms, which is used to select levels such as safe, automatic and semi-automatic modes, but which appeared loose and stiff at some level. In his words, both guns aren't 100% reliable. So Poladeye, he also examined the vehicle the Rahims were in at the time. He says a bullet core was recovered, lying on the floor between the back seat side door and back left passenger seat. The bullet's metallic fragments were also retrieved from the cops during autopsy. They were found to be a broken copper bullet jacket, one bigger, and the other two are tiny and from the same source. According to him, it gained its present shape due to impact on a resistant object, probably a bone, and so has lost some vital parts that could be used to identify the specific firearm that recently fired it. Earlier on Thursday, another inspector, Adeyemo Lubumi from the SCI Dikwanti, who investigated the homicide, presented both rifles, which were admitted as exhibits, but later returned to the police. He revealed during cross-examination led by defense counsel Adito Kumbo Dutola that the weapons were among those coupled after the destruction of many rifles from the armory at Aja due to the post nsas destruction of 2020. Further hearing is fixed for February the 15th, 2023. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.